Hey guys, I'm gonna jump straight into this video. There are a lot of cool things you can do in PowerPoint to take amazing notes, which is helpful because most classes offer copies of the PowerPoints for lectures, whether you're in high school or college. These techniques are great because you don't have to print your notes and you have a lot of really cool features that you can add. This video focuses mostly on handwritten notes, but these things work for typed notes as well. The first thing is being able to write directly on the slides. PowerPoint has a draw toolbar that has pens, highlighters, and the ability to change them to any color you want. So if you like to color code your notes, you're in luck. This obviously only works if you have a touchscreen device and a stylus, and I'm using my Surface Pro 6 in this video. If you're taking online classes, you can place the video window side by side with a PowerPoint window and take notes in real time to the lecture. This is also really helpful if your professor also writes on their slides, so you can add the information directly to yours. Of course, you'll have much more functionality in your note taking than the professor does, so it really helps to organize your thoughts and makes reviewing the material much simpler. I especially love the ability to have multiple pens and highlighters in different colors. I find it really helps when I go back to study my notes. Another feature that I absolutely love is the ability to add media to the presentation. I love to supplement my notes with relevant videos, especially from Khan Academy and Crash Course, and you can search for and insert those videos directly from YouTube into the presentation. You can place it anywhere you want and resize it, and the slide will adjust to accommodate the player. So if you don't want it directly on the slide, you can just place it off to the side. It gets pretty big too. It plays directly in the window, but you can also click on it to be taken to YouTube. This is a really cool feature and one that I actually get a lot of use out of. And when you switch between slides, it will look exactly how you left it. If you prefer to take notes in Microsoft Word, you can also copy and paste the slides from PowerPoint to Word. You can move it around and resize it to fit your notes. And I actually have an entire video on this and all the other things you can do to take amazing notes in Microsoft Word. I'll make sure to link it below. Word does have more functionality than PowerPoint. It can do pretty much anything that PowerPoint can do and more. So this is a really good alternative if you're interested in trying it out. I customized the draw tab in my version of Word so I could get the most out of my notes. And I have another video that shows how I did that, which I'll also link below. So I took some pretty messy notes before, but I just wanted to show you that you can have neat and organized notes pretty easily in Word. I like taking notes in Word when I have a lot to write and being able to add slides directly in is super helpful. And of course, you have pens and highlighters galore. There's also corrective functions like ink to shape, so you can make your notes pretty as well, if that's your thing. So back to PowerPoint. If you don't like writing directly on the slide, you can also view them in notes form. There's a text box under the slide where you can type your notes and whatever you put in this box will also show up under comments in the presentation view. I'm using the on-screen keyboard here, but obviously you would use a physical keyboard for these types of notes. The on-screen keyboard does have the ability to uh, allow you to verbally dictate your notes though, if you wanted to. You can also get rid of the text box if you want to handwrite your notes. You can resize the slides, move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller. Obviously, you don't want to make it too small, however, because you still want to be able to read what's actually on the slides.
Using the notes view is similar to taking notes in Word, but without some of the functionality, such as grid lines to help keep your notes neat. Whatever you handwrite in the space will not show up in the comments in presentation view, however. When saving your notes or printing your notes, you can do it and lay it out in a variety of different ways. You can have multiple slides, which will show all of the notes you took on the slide, or you can print it in notes format that's under settings. And that will show you everything on the slides as well as what you wrote under the slides. If you print or save multiple slides on a page, however, it won't show what you wrote under the slides in notes view. So this is a PDF that I saved in notes form and you can see all my handwritten notes on the slides as well as what I wrote under the slides. This was a very brief overview of some of the things you can do to take better notes in PowerPoint. The more you use it and play around with it, the more cool things you'll find that you can do. I personally love that I don't have to print out the presentation and write on it. I can just write directly on the notes that were provided. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.